Welcome to the first edition of Kosher Gay Kitchen, the kitchen that's kosher, the gay that's kosher, the blog that's totally uncut. Uh, tonight we are, and I have my gay shirt on, so everything good with that. Um, so let's get to a good recipe. Tonight I am making um, salt cod fritters with herbs. Uh, chickpea flour and sun-dried tomatoes. Um, these are fritters that you would see in Portugal um, and in Italy, I think. And I made some changes. I added chickpea flour um, instead of breadcrumbs or things like that because it has more protein and more fiber. Um, however, you could use breadcrumbs if you are allergic to nuts like Joe, and the salt cod is uh, something you can get online, um, you can get it in um, maybe Spanish markets, Portuguese markets, um, I got it at a, at a Middle Eastern market, but there are a lot of Portuguese people in Montreal, and so I think that they cater to Portuguese too. Um, you buy your salt cod, you soak it uh, overnight, uh, or more in water. Uh, you change the water a few times um, and that will get rid of a lot of the salt in it because the whole thing is just a huge block of salt. And so um, after you have soaked your salt cod, um, boil a potato to mesh, meshing consistency. One potato uh, depending how much salt cod you have, you might only need half the potato as I did tonight. Um, and use as much salt cod as you want, of course. Um, and so, boil the potato, and then flake the salt cod, it'll be quite soft. Me mash it in with the potato, add your flour, pepper, um, some herbs, you know, scallions, parsley, what have you. Uh, don't add salt because the, the salt cod is already salty even after the soaking and all and um, you could add a little bit of salt if necessary but I do not think it is I added sun-dried tomatoes which did make it a little more salty and uh, we'll see I'll try it in a second I have not tried it yet um, the end result that I'm having tonight are uh, salt cod fritters on a bed of arugula. Okay, something very healthy and low carb because the chickpea flour, I believe, is low in carbs. And so um, you fry your fritters in olive oil and uh, add an egg to the batter. I forgot that. Uh, recipe we posted in the writing anyway, below. Um, add an egg and uh, you want to have it a nice consistency, soft, pliable dough. Uh, you can drop it from a spoon or you can make fritters uh, with your hands however you like it. And this recipe, talking from the gay side, uh, going to the gym and all, uh, this recipe is good because it has a lot of protein from the cod. Um, the chickpea fritters, uh, the chickpea flour also adds a lot of protein. Um, when you have a potato in there, which will give you a little bit of starch, a little bit of carbs, um, for those of you that are not cutting and you still want to keep some carbs going, you could do the potato. Um, one other option would be to use a sweet potato, which will give you even more fiber. So all in all, a really healthy dish, a really easy dish, they're delicious cold, so perfect to make for a Shabbos afternoon snack uh, or for Shalashudas. You can just serve it, serve it with, as I'm doing now, with a salad. Uh, it could be part of a cold buffet. You can have some hard-boiled eggs on the side. Um, you could have, you know, uh, some pita with hummus as well. That would, just in itself, that would be like a really good meal. So stay tuned for the next edition of Gay Kosher Kitchen. I am Igor from Montreal. Ho bisous!